Mr. Carroll. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry to wake you, but it's an emergency. What is it, Miss Neal? Is, is something wrong? I, I really hate to ask you, but you're the only one home at this time of day. I was supposed to have today off of work, but they just called me in. I really have to go and take care of this for a couple of hours. I'm afraid I'll lose my job if I don't. How can I help you? It's my daughter, Alyssa. I have called every babysitter I know, and no one's available. And I can't take her to work with me. They don't allow children on the premises. No children? Your company doesn't allow children? Not on the premises, no. Could you watch Alyssa just for a couple of hours? She's really well behaved, usually. Of course I can. What are neighbors for if you can't call on them when you need a little help? Thank you so much. Alyssa, promise me you'll be very good and not cause Mr. Carroll any trouble. <sighs> I promise. I will be back as soon as I can. Don't worry, Mrs. Neal. We'll be fine. Do you have a television? No. <laughs> no television? What about a computer? Do you have a computer? No. No cell phone? No. What do you do around here all day? All by yourself. I'm not all by myself. I have my imagination. Imagination is more powerful than any computer or any other kind of machine. Yeah, how's your imagination going to help me? I'm just going to have to sit here for the next two hours. Maybe more. Well, let's see. I could tell you a story. A story? <laughs> That's lame. You may be right. I guess we'll just sit here. Lemonade? No thanks. Fine, then tell a story. It's better than nothing, I suppose. I should tell you the story about Alice. Alice? She's a little girl who used to live in the house next door many years ago. You mean my house? Someone who lived there before I did? Yes, a very nice family. And they had a daughter named Alice. <laughs> That's a really old-fashioned name. I do not like it. Someday your name will be old-fashioned, too. Right. Okay, so tell me about Alice. Alice was about your age. Same color eyes and hair, but maybe a bit taller. Are you calling me short? Not at all. In fact, she may have even been your exact height. And she lived in my house? Yes, but she didn't have a television or a computer. But she did have an excellent imagination, like me. She was very adventurous, and sometimes her curiosity would get her into trouble. Yeah, sometimes I get into trouble, too. That's why Mom won't let me stay home by myself. Well, one day Alice was home all by herself, and she, just, she decided to go out in her backyard with her cat, Dinah. You mean my backyard? Yes, the same backyard. Usually not that interesting, but on this afternoon, something very amazing happened. Amazing? In my backyard? I don't think so. Alice was paying Dinah and feeling a bit sleepy. She was just about to doze off when she heard someone mumbling to themselves. She woke up to see a big white rabbit bounding across the lawn. Not only was it bigger than any of the usual rabbits you see around here, but it was wearing a jacket and he had a pocket watch and he was talking to himself. I'm late. I'm exactly seven and a half minutes late. You will not forgive the insult. I must hurry. A talking rabbit with a pocket watch. You sure Alice has a bit in her mom's liquor cabinet? She was just having a dream. No, she swore it wasn't a dream at all. And then the rabbit, or whatever it was, jumped into a big hole over near the beech tree. There's no hole there. I would know. Oh, it's gone now, ever since the town put in the new sewer system. Convenient. OK, so then what happened? Alice, as I said, was a very curious girl. So she had to see what was down that hole. So she climbed in. Climbed in the hole in the backyard? Not smart. Quite right, because that hole was a lot deeper than she thought it would be. And she just started to fall down the hole. It was so deep, she thought she would never reach the bottom. Until finally, she did. And what was down there? You cannot imagine what she saw down there. It's locked. 
but I can hear voices outside in the distance. Hello? Can anyone hear me? They must be too far away. A key! I wonder if this key would open a little door. But what difference would it make? Even if it did, I'm too big to fit through that door. What's this? It says, drink me. I am a bit thirsty. Maybe I leave it here for people who accidentally fall down the hole. That would make sense. Not bad. Tastes like strawberry Kool-Aid. I'm feeling very strange. Maybe I should have drunk this stuff. I feel like I'm, I think I'm, yes I am, I'm shrinking! No, I got smaller. Oh, right, it's locked, and the key is up there. What is this? A cookie? It says, eat me. Yeah, like, I'm gonna do that. Wait, if the drink makes you smaller, the cookie must make you bigger. Then I could get the key, drink the drink, and I'd get through the door. Other choices? Not really. Here goes. Whoa, I'm definitely getting bigger! All I need to do is drink some more of this stuff. And why am I all wet? 
I must have slipped on some huge puddle or something. Salty. I know, it's my tears. When I was big, I cried so much, you made everything wet. I've never seen so much rain in my life. I'm so I am t t t t too. It's her fault. She was the one who was raining tears down upon us. I recognize her. Nonsense. The girl raining tears upon us is a hundred times bigger. She's just a little girl, a very little girl, about the size of a mouse. I beg your pardon, she's much larger than a mouse. I'm a professor, so I should know. He doesn't know anything. Pay him no mind what I do. I'm so glad to see all of you. Tell me, do you know we're out of here? Out of here? Why would you want to go out of here? Isn't any place out of there? There's only in it. You expect us to help you? Why would we do that? Well, of course we'll help you, dear. Now, what was it you wanted? I wanted to know. I think she wants to know how we're all going to get dry. I'd like to know that. Actually, I was going to I'd like to know that, too. <laughs> Please pardon them, dear. They have quite forgotten their manners. I'm Lori, and this is Professor Roman. Pleased to meet you. And Mr. Duckworth? How do you do? This is Doherty. We call him Dodo. Dodo? Short for d -d 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 Doherty. That's rather mean. Doesn't it bother you that I'm edited a little? They should have introduced me first because I'm a lady. But apparently, they forgot. Pleased to. They call me Mrs. Crab. Not my real name, just a nickname. Outside. But I thought you wanted to go before drying. No, I was asking. I could speak extemporaneously on a very dry subject. That might help. I don't see how that would help. But I do have a better idea. I suggest we have a race. A race? How would that help? We all run round and round in circles until we dry out. That sounds like it will work. Really? You think that will? On your mark, get set, go. I think it's perfectly clear. We all won. We all won? Are you dry? Uh, yes, actually, I am a little drier. Me, too. I am a bit drier. I think he's right. We all won that one. Wonderful. Then on to the wording of prizes. Oh, the prizes. Excellent. Since Alice is our guest, she will award the prizes. I will award the prizes? Well, you are a guest after all. All right, let's see. I have some raisins in my pocket. Will that do? Oh, raisins. I love raisins. All right, then. This one for you. 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 And you. Here you go. Congratulations. Well, that was wonderful. I think we could proceed to the next game. There's another game? Of course there's another game. Otherwise, what would be the point of it all? Take it too seriously, 
You don't think that we do laugh It's all just a laugh You might as well laugh Instead of crying You don't have to win Go ahead and jump right in Don't be afraid to play the Sure, but I'm certain that there, that's where he's headed now. Then I need to follow him. Sorry to leave before our next game, but I have to run. Bye. 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 Bye.
flower again. <gasps> you pick flowers? I'm scared. Will she pick us? She is much too small to pick flower. I'm sure she meant she would never do so if she were big enough to? Yes, that's what I meant. Whatever you are, I'm not certain you belong in a flower garden. Believe me, I'm trying to get out of here. Maybe you can help me. I'm following someone just all in white named Robert. I hate rabbits. They nibble. I'm not a rabbit, dear. Robert. We don't know anyone named Robert. She could ask Katerina. Yes, that's what she should do. Ask Katerina. Who? Katerina Pilar. She lives just down the path. <laughs> Look for a very large mushroom. You'll usually find her nearby. All right, I'll do that. Thank you for all your help. I've always loved flowers. Goodbye. Bye. you could possibly have. I knew I was when I woke up this morning. Then it fell down a hole. Then it got very small. Then it got very big. And then small again. I'm not sure like being only three inches tall. I beg your pardon. I mean, it's fine for you. It just really isn't me. Who are you? Back to that. Are we? It really is the only important question, isn't it? <laughs> The very first words the baby bird said before he left the nest was mother what will I become what makes me different from the rest How 
is, sir. I don't know how it helps for you to know yourself when you're going to turn into a butterfly soon. I have no idea what you mean by that. I am who I am today, and tomorrow I'll be who I am tomorrow. I'm just hoping that before tomorrow I can find Robert and he can tell me the way home. Who is Robert? I'm not really sure, but I heard he works for the Queen of Hearts. Who is she? I don't really know that either. I'm hoping someone can help me. Who are you? Again? <sighs> if only I were a bit taller, maybe I could see where Robert went off to. Who? You want to be larger? That's easy. It's this. One side makes you larger, the other makes you smaller. Which piece should I eat? Where did you go? If I eat this, I'll become taller? Or even smaller? I guess I might as well try. I couldn't get that small. It would be helpful to be larger than three inches tall. Whoa, I'm definitely getting bigger. I think it's working. I feel like I'm stretching. Katarina, the flowers look small. That must mean I'm bigger. Which way do you go now? to her. Oh, sorry. How do you do, miss? And this, this is Dora. Dora's feeling a bit under the weather. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. And I'm Matthew Tattersfield, but you can call me Matt. All my dearest acquaintances call me Matt. Hello, Matt. I'm Alice. Why? Gracious, I believe it's time for tea. Everybody move down. And Alice, you may sit here. Oh, no, I, I didn't realize it was already tea time. It's always tea time here. <laughs> His watch is broken. It isn't broken. Don't you know sometimes time stands still and time marches on? And then again, time flies, so we just merely be happen to be frozen in time. Thus the warm clothing. But it isn't really that cold. Time can be kind to you, you know. Or you might have to work against time. <laughs> What time is it? We do not know. One never knows where time will go. No one knows where time has gone or even where it's coming from. There is no time to sit and wait. So just remember, don't be late. Round and round and round it goes. The pendulum swings to and fro. We can't afford the time, you know. Don't ask the time, we do not know. The time is neither here nor there. It's always sometime everywhere. Though it is invisible, its speed can make you miserable. 
It's difficult to contemplate, so just remember, don't be late. <coughs> round and round and round it goes, the pendulum swings to and fro. We can't afford the time, you know, don't ask the time, we do not know. Why, it's tea time. Everybody move down. I think I've had enough tea. What I need to know is if you've seen Robert. He's dressed all in white and he has... Oh, Robert who just here. He dropped by for tea. <laughs> Wonderful. Did he say where he was headed? No, he did not. But one was to assume he was on his way to the game. What game? Why, the Colonel K tournament. The Queen of Hearts holds a croquet tournament every Tuesday and expects everyone to attend on penalty of death. Oh dear, so are you all going? Why, of course, after tea. Tea time, everybody move down. <laughs> where is the tournament being held? In the castle courtyard. And where is that? Why, next to the castle. Where else will the castle courtyard be? <laughs> But you could have a seat and have some more tea with us. May I introduce you to my friends? This is Harry Marks. Do we have to make an acquaintance, sir? <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. I'll just be going. I'll see you at the cool tournament. Possibly. <laughs> what a rude girl! She didn't even stay for tea. Tea. It's tea time. Everybody move down. No, do I need one? Everyone must have an invitation. Oh. Or be a guest of somebody who is invited. For instance, this invitation is for the Duchess. Do you think the Duchess would take me with her? You'll have to ask her yourself. Is that the invitation you have there? Yes, it is. Here you are. If I could possibly speak to the Duchess, ma'am. You seem perfectly able to speak. Mm -hmm. I'll let her know you have arrived. Too much pepper. <laughs> you have a visitor, Duchess. Has she come for lunch? There's not enough for more people. You didn't tell me there'd be visitors. I didn't mean to. Your invitation to the croquet tournament has just arrived. Oh, that dreary thing again. Would it be all right if I tagged along with you? To the tournament, I mean. Why would you want to do that? This stew has too much pepper. <laughs> Stop whining, you miserable beast. Speak roughly to your little boy and beat him when he sneezes. He only does it to annoy because he knows it teases. So add some pepper to the pot. She likes it. Feisty stew is what she likes to give her lips. 
like a two. You're welcome to try our steaming brew. A two. Let's add a few more sprinkles to the pot. A two. So add some pepper to the pot. She likes it cold. She likes it hot. A feisty stew is what she likes to so give her little growing time. A two. You're welcome to try our steaming brew. A two. Let's add a few more sprinkles to the pot. A two. I must get ready for the cocaine tournament. Here, take the baby. What am I to do with this baby? Why, it's not a baby at all. It's a little pig. Here, give it to me. We're going to cook the baby! You said it was a pig. You did say that. I heard you. Yes, but Mother, does she be upset when she sees you cook her? won't remember. Besides, she just left for the tournament. Oh, I wanted to go with her as her guest. Why don't you go as your own guest? But I don't have an invitation. Everyone is invited, but you must have an invitation. Thank you. How do I get to the castle? She just told you. By invitation only. <laughs> but anyone not in attendance will be sentenced to death. So you better hurry along. You're not coming? We're waiting for the soup to be finished cooking. It smells delicious. Too much pepper! where you're going, then it really doesn't matter which way you go. Yes, that would be true, but it would help to know where I currently am. I don't even know that. That's easy. You're here. Yes, that's also true, but I don't know where here is in relation to where I was. All I know about here is it's awfully dark. Don't you just love the dark? I do. It's so scary. Yes, it is, now that you mention it. My name's Chester. And you are? Alice. Welcome, Alice, to the dark side. <laughs>
dark side. Then how do we get out of here? Every way leads out of here. Yes, that would be true, but if I want to go to the castle... I wouldn't go there if I were you. Why? What's so bad about the castle? You'll see. But if I don't go to the castle, how would I see? I don't know. I don't see that well, you see. No, I don't see. Of course not. It's too dark. <sighs> I think I'll just try going this direction. An excellent choice. I'll just stay here in the dark. Where did you go? I guess we'll just start walking. Anywhere would be better than here. I hope. <laughs> It can't be a dance with no dance. 
have to be in the play. Otherwise, who will the knight slay? The knight could play the maid. I guess I can make that work. If Alice were to nag a lot and be annoying, the audience may just want me to kill her and get her out of our hair. I'm not sure I like where this play is going. Or we could have the knight cut her up and feed her to the dragon. I like it. I don't. I don't think I want to be in this play. All of us want to do is ask if you knew the way to the castle. Why does she keep asking us that? I'll pay no attention to her. If she doesn't want to be in our play, we'll just have to make do without her. I know. I'll be the man. <laughs> that would work. But after I kill you, then you'll be the dragon. You could be the dragon. And feed you to myself? Are you saying you don't want to feed yourself? Of course I know how to feed myself. I'm the oldest. I could feed myself long before you could. We're twins. How could you be the oldest? <laughs> I'm D, and you're Duh. Doesn't that say it all? Well, maybe I'm tired of being Duh. How about that? You can't be the oldest if we're twins. Bushes. She did it! No, she did it! I did it! Watch your head! I will sue you! You heard the queen. Take them away. You this can't. is an outrage! You can't hold this forever! The no. very idea! How dare they! Who is this girl? And how dare she address me in that way? Off with her head! 
now, now, darling, she's only a little girl. Only a little girl? Where did you come from, girl? I'm not sure. I fell down a rabbit hole, you see, and I was following Robert this evening. You're a friend of Robert's? I didn't know Robert had friends. Of course he does. Everybody's friends with Robert's. I thought you knew all of Robert's friends. Are we sure she belongs here? I have an invitation. Do you have a mallet? No. Robert, give the girl a mallet. I can't believe they gave her an invitation. Everybody got an invitation. I didn't. But then I'm a friend of Robert's. Since you were the guest, you may go first. But this is a hedgehog, or maybe a small porcupine, and I'm supposed to hit it with this? Great. She knows the rules now. Go ahead and take your shot. But where's the wicket? Oh, uh, OK. Excellent shot. Excellent, excellent. That was out of bounds. It was distinctly out of bounds, we all saw it. That's minus two points for you, which gives me two extra shots. No, oh, too bad, darling. You missed. Try again. Again, darling. She distracted me by sighing heavily just as I swung my mallet. I did no such thing. Are you accusing me of lying? That's treason! Off with her head! Oh no, darling. I'm sure she didn't mean to do that. I insist she be tried for treason and also for crimes against Wonderland. Crimes against Wonderland? Do not worry, little girl. The queen does not preside at trials. That is the duty of the king. <laughs> Order in the court. Will the attorney for the accused please step forward? I will represent for the accused. Who are you? This is my son, Jack. Can't I represent myself? Are you insinuating that my son is incompetent? No, it's just... Very well. <laughs> please bring in the first witnesses. Do you know the defendant? Yes, we met her recently. We believe her real name to be Alice. Of course my name is Alice. Sunny name, Alice. As opposed to Mrs. Crabb. And did the defendant act suspiciously? It's all our fault. I said so from the beginning. We were just trying to be helpful. It was her tears. She was crying so much. We're all so. Tears were right. I tried to give a very dry speech, but she just wanted to play games. And then she asked a lot of questions about the queen. That she did, and as soon as she got what she wanted from us, off she went. Clearly, she's a spy. I object. You can't object. That's my job. Well, then you object. I can't do that. She's my mother. Do you talk back to your mother? Ne next, <laughs> next witness. Can't we just find her guilty now and get on with the game? But I'm quite interested to hear Flower say about this. I told you all she was dangerous. And look, here she is on trial. I'm sure she has a perfectly good defense. Isn't she bigger than before? She looks bigger. I'm sure everything will be fine, little Violet. After all, everyone grows. But I know I heard her say she picked flowers. <gasps> Not here in Wonderland, only back at home. I knew she didn't belong in our flower garden. And to think we treated her like a fellow flower. There, there, Lily. There's no chance of harming us now. Thank you. I think that's enough from these witnesses. They invited Matt and Harry to testify? Don't they know they are? Your Majesty, I have come to bear witness as requested. Yeah, yeah. what have you to say, sir? <laughs> Was Grillick and the sly the toves did gyre and gamble in the wave? All mimsy were the boar of groves and the mome rats brave. Beware the jabber walk, my 
my son. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the job, job bird, and shun the freest band or snatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand. Long time the maxim foe he sought. So rested he by the tum-tum tree and stood a while in thought. And as in group fish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the dodgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through, and through, the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head, he went galum Thou slain, the Jabberwock, come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, frabjous day, Kaloo, Kalei. He chortled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. Have any questions? <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. Sir, do you know this defendant? Hmm. I've never seen her in my life. What? You invited me to your tea party. You were the one who told me about the croquet tournament. Uh -huh! So you admit you came to this event under false pretenses in order to spy on the king and queen. All I wanted to do was ask Robert if you Robert, Robert, Robert. Do you know this young woman? We've never met until today, Your Grace. Perhaps you've mistaken me for someone else. But I saw you go down the rabbit hole in my backyard. <laughs> Nonsense. He's clearly not a rabbit. Why would he be in a rabbit hole? I thought he was a rabbit. Excuse me, may I be excused? It's time for tea. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. What huh? did she say? <laughs> Don't find Dora. She's a bit off. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, next, next witness. <laughs> Good afternoon, Duchess. My sources say you were also coached by this girl. Yes, Your Majesty. She, she murdered my baby. <laughs> I did not. Put him in the soup. She did. I saw her. I was there. I was there too. And I. You threw him in the soup. And it wasn't a baby. It was a pig. She <gasps> called my child a pig. <laughs> Heartless. <laughs> Are you going to say anything to my defense? The poor thing boiled to death. Are there any other witnesses? Yes, Your Majesty. Two more. Told you were also approached by this young woman. Ugh, she wanted to be in the play we were going to perform at the croquet tournament. You asked me to be in your silly play. So you say. It was just a play after all. There really were no weapons involved. Except the sorry. <gasps> Clearly she was planning treachery. Uh, I'll see. It does seem a bit suspicious. Well, we'll leave it for the jury to decide. But what about my defense? In her defense, she does play croquet well. Members of the jury, will you let this villainess go free to terrorize the people of Wonderland and possibly
possibly threaten the life of your devoted queen? Or will you find her guilty of numerous acts of treason, treachery, and chicanery? I ask you, how could you, knowing me as you do, vote anyway but guilty? Chester, are you here to testify against me too? I hate to say I told you so. But I told you so. Great, so what do I do now? My advice is to never be anywhere where there is way better than here. What? Run. <laughs> All those voting not guilty, raise your hand. All those voting guilty and to keep your head bigger or smaller in order to go home. All you need is some up juice. Up juice? Of course, silly. Unless your home is down, then of course you need down juice. Is your home up or is it down? I came a very long way down to get here, so I would guess my home is up. Yes, that does sound logical. Here you are, up juice. But be careful not to drink too much or you might end up on a star. A star? It happens. <laughs> Rarely. I'm ready to try anything at this point. Thank you for all your help. I'd say I hope we meet again, but frankly, all I want to do is leave here for good. Goodbye, dear girl. Whoever <laughs> you are. Should I drink this stuff? You'd think I learned not to take foolish chances by now, but somehow I always do. Would I, could I, I keep asking Should I, will I, why do I need to know But if there's a place I've never been You can bet I'm sure to go Don't dare me not to you won't win 
answer. Will it? Won't it? Why do I need to know? I'll be inspecting for God in places to see what's there below. It's just the mystery that's the attraction teasing my thoughts. you to leave Wonderland as soon as possible. The Queen's soldiers are not far from here, and if you don't hurry... Okay, let's have a supposed to take me home. Wish me luck. Here it goes. I'm feeling very lightheaded. It's not just your head, it's all of you that's getting light. There she goes! I'm back. Thank you so much for watching, Alyssa. She wasn't in any trouble, was she? Not at all. In fact, she fell quite asleep and had a long nap. Mom, you're home. You won't believe the dream I just had. Uh, let me guess. Mr. Carroll was telling you a story then you fell asleep, and you had the most magical dream. Yes. How did you know that? <laughs> I am quite familiar with Carol's stories. I guess they're not that interesting if everyone falls promptly to sleep as soon as I begin. Actually, they can be quite interesting. You'll have to tell me all about your dream over dinner, <coughs> Alyssa. OK, I'll go set the table. See you later, Mr. Carol. Good evening, Alyssa. Thank you again for watching Alyssa. I'm sure she enjoys spending time with you more than she cared to admit. It was my pleasure, Alice. <laughs> well, nobody's called me Alice since I was a child. They call me Allie now. You'll always be Alice to me, dear girl. I remember when you used to sit on this very porch and listen to my stories. Oh, believe me, I will never forget your stories. I could swear they really happened. They come back to me sometimes, you know, in dreams. Dreams are magical places. I like to visit my dreams now and then. Only the most fascinating people live in dreams. Yes, possibly. I should go get started on dinner. Thank you again for watching, Melissa. I'll be here, Alice. Anytime. Anytime you need a sitter or just a good story to go with your dreams.